Last night, COP26 ended. I don't know how you're feeling about it, whether you're feeling it's a case of glass half empty and opportunities missed, or glass half full and at last some world leaders have been encouraged to move further forward than we might have thought. Whatever the case, it's a chance for every institution to pick up from now and carry things forward. Um, I want you to have a great say in this more than anything else. We have um, a wonderful day planned for you. Lots of workshops, talks, events, hopefully come up with some really um, meaningful pledges that can be carried through into the future um, to challenge how we go about changing things for a more sustainable future. We take the promises from students all around the world and we deliver them at COP in the form of Forest of Promises. So we ask the students to make promises on one side of the leaf and on the other side we ask them uh, to write a promise for the world leaders. Now it's the time to do action. Uh, everybody, even the students in their local community, leaders in their own power, we need to keep the promise alive of keeping one point 1.5 degrees and not above that. They need to understand that the role we play in our local communities about, you know, our carbon footprint, about the way we eat, about the way we travel. This generation and your generations to come are being handed a challenge by the ones that have gone before. These are things that we have got to deal with. And several generations have hesitated around it and therefore created the problem we have today. And it has to be dealt with and we have to respond to it. Which is why this week for me is so exciting because, and I know there's so much engagement. and had two really interesting talks showing us what we can do and the actions we can take um, to try and make a difference and highlighting the importance of the individual and the consumer in what we buy and what we choose to use. One of the really um, important things that I thought was being able to interact in different ways that suited everyone, so we were able to rank what we thought was important sustainability. The ocean provides more than half the oxygen we breathe and absorbs much of the CO2 we produce, so it's our life support system. So what we're doing is bringing the ocean into the classroom and so that people will understand it, people will protect it and respect it because the ocean does so much for us and we do that through science and storytelling. powerful images but that, that's the state of the planet you have to look at it as it is you can't sort of see a cuddly old earth and just want to cuddle it and it's all okay it's not it's it's a mess but the most important message coming from this this uh, whole week actually is about hope and the ability to change so it's not about doom and gloom it's you have to face up to the issues you have to feel uh, a passion to want to do something it's about us all working together to make a difference Use the time we have to like appreciate what we've got and to try and like help change it for the better. Some of the wood was from an old statue in an art gallery, so um, and it got sent to us. So we thought we could reuse it and try and make a bug house, which helped liven up the species of uh, insects in, um, in our area. This was a really fun activity and um, we collected lots of plants from outside the floor and we had to make the bug house as interesting and exciting as possible. Food waste is a serious problem in this country. Can anyone here guess how much food is wasted in the UK? I, I won't make you guess, I'll just tell you. It's 9.5 million tonnes every single year. There is a lot we can do to change that. 
And starting here in the college, I believe we can put that food waste to seriously good use. The reason why I do what I do is to be able to witness days like today. So thank you for making that happen because you know that energy and, and, and confidence and ideas from you make me sort of feel really, really confident and optimistic about the future.